This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos that I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I think I know what Adam Aaron and then Tara's final goal was. And just listen to what I'm about to say and then draw your own conclusion. You can agree with me or not agree with me. But just listen and analyze it and use your critical thinking. Adam Aaron was at Cin CinemaCon. I guess that's like Comic-Con for, for the movies. CinemaCon. And he said that after the reverse split, he'll be able to sell 408 million shares and raised between 10 to 12 billion dollars. Okay? And I want y'all to do these numbers with me. Let's say there's 500 million AMC shares, 500 million Ape shares, so that's a billion. We do a 10 to 1 reverse split, we end up with 100 million common AMC shares, right? 100 million. Now, after this happens, Adam Aaron plans on selling 408 million shares. So there's only 100 million that we have, and he's about to sell 408 million shares. Who will he be selling these shares to? More than likely, institutions. Institutions. And in one swoop, he has turned AMC from being owned by retail investors to being owned by institutions. If Adam Aaron's allowed to do this, we would own 20% and 80% of AMC shares would be owned by institutions. The same institutions that abandoned AMC during the crisis, but now that AMC is doing well, now that everything's looking up, Adam Aaron wants to dilute our ownership and turn it back over to the institutions. And that's what I believe he plans on doing. I think that was a long-term goal all the time. And on top of that, he said from 408 million shares, he can raise 10 to $12 billion. That means he already knows that what the price is going to be. He's assuming the price is going to be between $25 to $30 per share. I mean, the fix is already in, Okay. He already knows what the price he's going to sell the shares at. How could he know that when, as he says, the market is supposed to determine the price? But somehow, Adam Aaron knows that 408 million shares is going to raise 10 to $12 billion, which means he knows the price is going to be between $25 and $30. So obviously, the market does not determine the price. Adam Aaron and his co-conspirators and the hedges are the ones that determine the price of AMC. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Adam Aaron and his co-conspirators already have this thing in place? And had we not fought hard in court to keep this lawsuit going, right now we'd already be screwed. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Adam Aaron and them really set this up from the beginning to take AMC back from retail investors. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.